Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we are diving into all things makeup from the brand Beauty Pie. So if you're interested in learning more about Beauty Pie's makeup products as well as a couple skin prep products, I hope you'll hang out with me today and put together a look. And yeah, that sounds good to you. Let's jump right in. So this new light gives you such great color trueness on me, but my background's looking yellow. We're still working out the lighting stuff, but guess who's back in the house? Click clack. If you know that song, let me know down below. That's how I feel. We're back. We are also back in the beauty pie game. I have a very, very long video on my channel that goes through all of the categories that beauty pie offers. They have since come out with new things that I have a couple today that we'll talk about, but today is mainly focused on the makeup side of things. I don't plan on going super in depth with ingredients and pricing. Pricing is a little bit fluid with beauty pie, um, especially with supply chain issues that everyone has run into recently. So I don't want to lock myself into a price when it could potentially go up, etc. But without further ado, I need to get some makeup on my face. I've got a couple meetings today and I want to look presentable. I also need to do some skin prep because I, it's been a while and my face is feeling a little dry. So let's go ahead and jump in. I have all of my beauty pie makeup in my bag here so that I'm organized and yeah. Let's go ahead. Some of the things I'll be using are not Beauty Pie, but that's because I either don't have a product from Beauty Pie in that category anymore, or I never did, you know? I'm gonna spritz my face with the Fit Glow C Ceramide Toner. I have tried one of the toner mists from Beauty Pie. You'll see in the reviews online, and I can attest to this myself, that the sprayer on those was not great at all, like it was very inconsistent with how much it would spray out. Um, it got clogged, it was just weird, and I think all of them have fragrance, which is such a shame. I I can't do fragrance, it's just not for me. But the next thing is for me, and it is how I prep my eyes, it's also how I soothe my eyes throughout the day. I've talked about this in a lot of videos, but it's a Beauty Pie Pure Ceramides Elastic Boost Eye Moisture Serum. When I bought this, it was around the $10 mark, looks like this. The best part about it is the metal rollerball tip that helps soothe the eye area. Click the product up like this. And I usually do one click per eye, but I, oh, it feels so good, especially right now. I did use this this morning, but I'm drying out and allergies are just fierce lately. So I'm just going to apply that to really just the orbital area of my eye and let that sink in while I go in with a facial serum. Again, on the Beauty Pie front, I have not found a facial serum that is totally for me, although I am testing the new Youth Balm. Um, I had quite the skin situation from hormones, so I have kind of put off testing that one until my skin gets to a point where I can tell if the product is breaking me out or if it's just the state my skin is in. So for today, I'm gonna go in with the Phytosurgeons C Submerge Serum just to add a little added moisture you're gonna see i'm a moisture kind of girl but if you have really sensitive skin and you've tried a beauty pie serum that you think is worth trying let me know i will say i tried the japan fusion didn't work for me the ceramide capsules and the vitamin c capsules and the peeling serum i forget what it's called but it's like for acne prone skin what I'm going to moisturize with is from Beauty Pie, and it is one of my favorite products from their skincare line. It's the Happy Face uh, Extreme Relief Seca Moisture Cream. Oh, I love this. It's a gel cream. The closest thing in texture that I can compare this to is the Belief Aqua Balm. It's a very kind of gel cream, like it says, but I love Seca to help soothe my skin, especially when I'm having a skin situation like I am, and it feels just so nice. And I go over my eyes with that too. This is a nice product, it's unscented. I have seen a big difference in my skin since starting to use this. Can't say enough good things. I'm starting to feel like a human again with the moisture. I let that sink in just for a few minutes and now I'm gonna go in with my sunscreen. I'm using the Live Tinted. And I might go ahead and breeze through applying my base, but I wanna talk about it really quick before we get further into it. 
I have not tried the foundation or the concealer from Beauty Pie. After reading the descriptions, they don't really seem like a type of product that I would like. And again, my skin is very sensitive. It has situations like the state that it's in now quite often because I have hormonal acne with PCOS and I also have a little bit of rosacea on my cheeks and just overall sensitive skin. And I wanna say most of their products either lean more matte or full coverage and that's not really what I go for in a day. So I'm going to apply my regulars, which is the um, Chantecaille Future Skin Gel Foundation, and then probably the Rose Ink Concealer just around my eyes, but we will come back before then because there is a product for the under eyes that I definitely want to share. All right, so I whizzed through the base, which was my eyebrows. I've not tried Beauty Pie eyebrow products. You'll see with my base and my eyebrows, that's where I tend to experiment the least when i find a product i stick to it as long as it's well priced and works well i really love the kosas airbrow products but airbrow and air pop products but i really do want to try excuse me i do want to try beauty pie's brow products so if you have kind of more ashy blonde hair and you like the beauty pie brow products let me know down below because i do think i want to try those but I did my foundation, the Chantecaille Future Skin Gel, and I spot concealed with rose ink, but I do not have anything underneath my eyes, so you can see, well, maybe a little bit of the Chantecaille, but you'll see, I have beautiful dark circles, and I have tried a lot of dark circle correctors in the past. I have tried the Benefit, Boing, the Stick, and the Pot. I have tried the Becca. I have tried the Tarte. I have tried the, what's the other one? the Ulta that comes in a stick, all of those either didn't provide enough coverage in the color correcting department, or they did provide the coverage, but they were thick and on their own, it was too stark of that color correcting color that it didn't look natural under the eyes, and it was too full coverage to just be kind of like a wash of color to cancel it out, or when you tried to layer on top of it for the color to look more natural with your concealer, it looked super makeup-y and heavy, even on my skin, you know, five years ago. And we're five years older. So this is the Super Luminous Under Eye Genius Corrector. I have mine in the shade Light Medium. You can see I have dug into this product. This product, I believe, is under $10, which compared to all of those others, I think the only one that compares at all to this is the Ulta and this is insanely better probably closest in texture to Becca but this one looks even better under my eyes I think it would also look a lot better under mature more mature eyes than my own um, I just love it I bought it for my mother for Mother's Day and she really loves it too so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my finger in the pot if you did not see my other video on this with long nails I don't traditionally like going in the pot this works extremely well with a brush but I do like the warmth of my fingers to help kind of push it into the skin even more. I like to put my nail at the edge of the pot and then twist the pot and that gives me enough. And you'll see that you don't need a lot of this product at all to help brighten that area. And what I love about it, it is it is full coverage enough and does not look like a stark peach kind of color corrector that I can wear it on its own. I don't have to layer concealer on top to make it look like it belongs in the place where I put it, which sounds like it's not a large ask for a color corrector, but I have found very few that actually do that. So I like to tap it in with my fingers and you can see I look so much more brighter and awake and this, so we talk about this on my channel. If you have very deep eye lines like this one here, nothing I do is gonna keep that from creasing. There is no formula that's going to keep that from creasing unless I don't put product there. This will crease if you have lines like this. So will all of your concealers. But when it comes to how bad it creases, this does not crease badly at all whatsoever. It just sinks right into the skin. It's incredible. I highly recommend this, especially if you have dark circles that you struggle with. I do think as we move into the eyes though, I want to add just a touch of the Rose Ink Concealer on top of my lid, but I feel bright enough with the Chantecaille and that eye brightener that I'm not gonna do anymore, which is such a feat for me because I 
they have been worse at different points in my life. Honestly, it depends on if I'm hydrated, if my allergies are bad, and if I've slept, how bad my dark circles are. But they have been an issue for me for as long as I can remember, even in high school. And I was always wearing super high coverage concealers under my eyes to mask those. And it's so amazing to me that one product like that with a little bit makes me feel confident enough to do my makeup. We'll revisit it after I get eyeshadow on because that's what I traditionally do, just to make sure that the blueness doesn't kind of compete with the eye look that I'm putting on. But today we're doing an eye look that I am super excited about. And it is with the newer to Beauty Pie eyeshadow quads. It is the James Malloy Deluxe eyeshadow quad. I got mine in 003, which is the bronze quad which can we take a minute this packaging is absolutely gorgeous i will say the packaging on the um, genius under eye genius eye corrector is glass on the bottom and a nice metal cap on the top feels very luxe again right on par with like a becca for less than ten dollars crazy these were 17 when i bought them and you can't tell me that this doesn't look exactly like another luxury beauty brands eye quads and it feels just as nice. It has a nice kind of like, looks like metal, but is plastic separator with um, the Beauty Pie brand name in the top. And then the outside of the palette is cute, just black with gold embossing of the brand. But I picked up this quad because this is definitely the color that I like to live in. I chose this shirt today because I knew I was gonna be doing an eye look like this and the colors just go really well together. I do want to compare at the very end of the video to the Aether Desert Sunset palette because I, when I first saw people posting about this, I immediately went to like, where's the difference between those two palettes? So we will get into that. There is a difference. Happily, there is because I'm happy to have both of these in my collection. I have used this a couple of times. I've swatched it, as you can see. The formula is beautiful. We'll get into that as I apply it to my eyes. So I'm going to start off with the lightest matte shade here in the corner and I'm going to buff that into my crease. Definitely tap these shadows off. They are pigmented but they blend beautifully. These mattes are delicious. I'm so happy to have these in my collection and I'm also very happy because a lot of the reviews on previous iterations of Beauty Pie's um, powder shadow formula weren't great. Um, that they were dusty, they didn't blend, they blended away to nothing. These do not blend away to nothing, but they blend very, very easily, as you can see. And if you are not new here, you know that I love that. I love when a shadow lends well to the windshield wiping motion because I know that I can blow it out and get the color on my eye very quickly like that. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous crease transition all over the lid shade. Like this, if you're into kind of a matte one and done look, would be incredible because these colors are nuanced enough. They look right at home on skin, which I absolutely love, especially this palette for someone with lighter to fair skin tones. For dark skin tones, I don't know about this first shade. I'm not gonna comment because I, how would I know? I'm paper, yeah, but yeah just love these shadows i'm so so pleasantly surprised like i the first time i put this on my eyes i was blown away because i was expecting something that would be slightly disappointing just based on the reviews that i had seen but could not be further from reality next what i think i want to do i'm a little torn because i have played with this before and with these four shadows, I'm definitely going to put this lightest shade on the lid towards the inner corner, and we're gonna build dimension with this shimmery shade. But I do think I'm going to phone a friend and pick up the white color from Hindash just to make sure that I keep the brightness in the inner corner. I'm just gonna pick that up on a fluffy brush, and I'm really just going to go right into the inner corner, just brighten that up a little bit make it look a little finished together so that when I top with that shadow, it doesn't look like I've neglected a whole portion of my lid. And again, preserve that brightness in the inner corner. I wasn't kidding about the dark circles. We've talked about it before. I'm fighting shadows from a lot of areas with how deep set the inner corner of my eye is. So I just like to keep it bright. So that's where we are so far. I'm gonna go back into the Beauty Pie palette with the same brush. This is the Beauty Pie Pro perfect eyeshadow base. 
very dense and fluffy very dense and flush very dense and fluffy fluffy but it picks up a lot and these shadows pick up a lot with brushes so very good but you do want to tap off a little bit and I'm gonna start in the center of the eye and I am so excited to talk about this shade it is so cool and it was so unexpected but I'm not gonna take it to the inner most corner of my eye but I'm gonna take it in just about there and then I'm going to fluff it on the edge as well look at that shade it is it's very unassuming in the pan it looks like a frosty white shimmer you can kind of guess that it's gonna go green gold but wow when it's on the eyes it really flexed that green gold I love that color it's always an unexpected kind of color because it is gold but there's so much green to it which is beautiful for brown or hazel or green eyes love picking up a color like that that plays on multiple colors within its shimmer it's just so pretty and I mean that's fairly impactful I will show you if I go in with my finger here you can build up even more oh that iridescence and all those different tones in that it's gorgeous like I said I was so blown away when I first put this on and I'm still blown away clearly but now that I've kind of touched that with my finger I do want to go back into that lightest matte shade and just clean up those edges again oh yeah we're getting there and now I want to take a smaller brush typically the brush that I love to use for this oh yes is right here it is the beauty pie shape and smudge eyeshadow brush it has a denser pencil brush on the one end and then a very small detail brush on the other this is like the perfect shape and size for my eyes and how deep set they are with like a slight hood out here so I love using this brush and Beauty Pie's brushes are absolutely incredible um, I'm gonna go into that dark shimmery shade and we're gonna build an outer V here the colors of this palette too go so well together and as happy as I am with this, I'm very tempted to pick up um, the one with the silver in it because after seeing this gold, I bet that silver is absolutely stunning. And I will say, if you don't know who James Malloy is, he is a makeup artist. He is incredibly talented. If you are interested in you know, getting inspiration, seeing the looks that he does, he also has, I believe, videos using all of these quads on his Instagram. His Instagram is incredible he does such fun looks so I will link his Instagram down below but yeah check him out if you're interested but these colors man I just love them I'm gonna go in with no extra product with that original buffing brush and I'm just going to tap the edges to blend that so easy so so easy to blend really coming together the other times that I've created a similar look like this with this palette I have not used that darker matte but I might want to just see what that will do if I want to build right by my lashes even more and that deep shimmer that we just used is like a dark chocolate brown with like amber reflect which is super pretty yeah that added like a nice little line I'm just gonna add a little line on the other eye and then I think I think I'm pretty happy with this look and how it's turning out I do want to grab another brush this is like a random urban decay one you can tell that I really need to clean brushes when I start pulling out random shiz like this keeping it family friendly. I have nieces that watch us, you know, but yeah, so far that's the look that I pulled together again. So, so happy with these palettes. And for $17,
this to me rivals the brand that we all know that it's duping the vibes of you know it's just i'm so so happy i will be trying other ones as far as eyeliner goes i think i am going to skip that today but i do want to talk through i did not grab it i will insert a photo here the beauty pie deluxe precision eyeliner in black is my daily liquid liner i wear a lot of strong graphic wings and that one's perfect it does skip a little bit if you drag across the lid and you have aging eyelids but i have videos on my channel that walk through how to avoid that by placing the liner down first and then going in with your wing it has a beautiful tip for that the tip is long enough that you really can kind of lay across the lash line instead of dragging so i will link videos below where i'm using that specific eyeliner and going through my tips and tricks on how to get that big wing if you do have aging eyelids but yeah i highly recommend that one that was under ten dollars when i bought it and it is absolutely incredible it dries matte black is beautiful so I'm going to off camera pop on my mascara and then we'll meet back here to do the rest of the face. I have not tried Beauty Pie's mascara. There is one that is top of mind I will pop on the screen here that I would like to try. I've heard a lot of great things about it, but if you have spent any time on my channel, you know that you will have to pry the Thrive Cosmetics from my cold dead hands. It's going to take a miracle or yeah a miracle to get me away from that mascara essentially so i'm gonna pop that on and i'll be right back all right lashes on i want to get into the face now that i have the eye look i think my under eyes are perfectly bright i'm so happy with that under eye genius corrector can't say enough good things but for the face i have the beauty pie glow all super powder face palette i don't know if this exact one is still available i'll pop up on the screen if it is i have a lot of thoughts about this we'll get into it but i also want to mention that i have two of their super cheek cream blushes i have sexy berry and bare blush i am going to do my bronzer and blush out of this palette so i do want to go ahead and swatch these next to a couple of cream blushes that i do have just to give you a comparison all right, so I have swatched here the two Beauty Pie shades along with two Phytosurgeon shades. That was the closest color from a cream blush perspective that I had. These formulas could not be more different. I will get into that right after we go through colors. This first one up here is Phytosurgeon's Fervor, and the second one is Beauty Pie Bare Blush. You can see that Fervor is a lot more peach and warm. Bare Blush is like such a nice, just rosy pink. I think it would be pretty universally flattering. Then I have Phytosurgeons and Fume. This is my absolute everyday blush. It's just a nice toasty, roasty, toasty shade. Underneath that is the Beauty Pie in Sexy Berry. This is such a good color for fall and winter. It just really gives you that kind of like just bitten by the cold air look on your face. It's an absolutely beautiful color. It is definitely a berry. It has a little bit of brown or beige in there. Don't know why I said brown like that. A little bit of beige in there. Absolutely phenomenal. You might even be able to see on my hand the difference in the formula. Let me see if I can get a shot. Yeah, right there. Do you see how the Phytosurgeon's Fume much more dewy the beauty pie is still satin but it is much more towards the matte end of the spectrum on the cheeks these still look like skin but more so from that satin matte skin type formula they do blur they feel almost like a dry a drier cream formula that not even dry it's like a velvety you can tell that there are probably silicones in here but blended out they're just absolutely beautiful you can shear these down quite a bit too they will continue to blend they're not going to dry down to a point where you can't move them anymore so they are very beginner friendly in that sense they are just stunning but you can see there is radiance there but if i were to do the same swatch with the phytosurgeons which is a whipped mousse that feels much more creamy than something like the beauty pie it's going to give even more radiance than that but if you want an airbrushed blush look both the beauty pie and the phytosurgeons will give you that beauty pie i think runs just under ten dollars or right at the ten dollar mark absolutely outstanding price for a blush it comes in more colors than that 
Um, but those two are the ones that I reach for over and over again, especially in the fall and winter. But for today, I really want to talk about this um, All Glow Super Powder palette because I want to say that this was $17-ish. It was definitely under the $20 mark when I got it, and I was very disappointed in this at first. But through the grapevine, I heard that these perform more like a cream than a powder, and it could not be more true. If you tried to pick these up with a fluffy powder brush like this that is not very dense, just super kind of fluffy like a powder, you're not going to get any payoff from these whatsoever. However, if you pick them up with something more like this Thrive bronzer brush, which is very dense and is geared more towards cream, or even the Seamless Foundation Buffing Brush from Beauty Pie, which is one of my absolute favorite brushes, these are gonna give you the payoff that you're looking for, and these are exactly what I'm gonna go in with today. I love these. These will airbrush the ever-loving you-know-what out of your face. They look airbrushed, they're absolutely gorgeous. The only thing is these all lean kind of yellow on me. More so the bronzer than anything else, and we'll get there, but I'm going to go in with the blush in Super Juju first, and then we're going to pop the top of the cheek with the Fever Peach. These are all available in singles if they're not still available in the palette. I got my mom more of a reddish shade than this Super Juju for Christmas. We love alerts. Anyway, I got her that for Christmas and I believe that she really liked it. But see, it's you really have to go in kind of strong with that cream dense brush to get any payoff. And even then, what I like about it is with that dense brush, you still kind of have to build. It's not going to get out of hand really quickly. What I was saying before I was really interrupted is that it's not going to get out of hand super fast, which again, that lends to being user friendly, but you are going to have to kind of build. You're not going to get instant payoff if you're like me and you like a lot or a decent amount of blush, but it is so pretty. I think I built a little too much on the other, so let's even that out. But if you look at that, it does airbrush the face. It leaves luminosity. I mean, that Chantecaille Future Skin Gel is a very luminous foundation, but just wait until we get more on the face. It is incredible what these do. I'm gonna go in now with the Fever Pitch and build that on more of the tops of my cheek, bring in a little bit more warmth, but this is where I have to be careful because it starts getting very yellow on my skin, which my skin leans a little yellow and green to begin with, so maybe that's why, but it can get kind of crazy looking. And I always look like I have a ton of blush on, but I promise when we finish the face, it all comes together. But that's where we are with blush. I do think I'm going to take my foundation brush here and just pat just to blend the edges, and then we'll go into this bronzer. We might have to bring in a contour to try to cool things off on my face just so I don't look real crazy, you know? For the bronzer, I will say that Thrive Cosmetics brush works absolutely beautifully, but one of my very, very favorite brushes from Beauty Pie is this all over face powder brush. They have a smaller size that is their blush brush, which I also really love. This brush, the blush version of this, and then that um, foundation brush are my very top favorite picks from Beauty Pie if you wanna start somewhere. The smudge brush that we talked about that has the dual ends, that is my kind of like the second iteration. I have multiples of the three that I just named. I cannot live without them, but it, this really works well with powder and cream so I did practice with this bronzer and it worked really well so I'm gonna go in with that and you'll see we're gonna be a little yellow but that's okay and again you have to build this up also the ice cream truck is driving by I am so curious if you can hear that it's like such a creepy ice cream truck because it, it rolls by and it says hello and then it plays it's like creepy ice cream truck music it's like out of a horror movie i don't know but yeah see i have a break out there but there's i'm i have textured skin and you can still see some texture but the way that this airbrushes is wild to me i 
Actually, is someone playing music outside? That would be like really um, impressive music for an ice cream truck. We're going with it. You guys know how I am. There's background noises. Frank's actually being quiet today, but usually he's growling at me. You know, there's always something. Oh, but look at that. See, the blush starts to make sense, especially with bronzer. I am going to take a little bit down my neck because I'm going ham. But yeah, it's so funny because I sat down to film this earlier in the week and you saw me on camera like fall back in love with this palette. I, I had given up on this. This was just sitting in a drawer for a very long time. I do recommend this and I do recommend the singles of this. You just have to know how to work with it. It's just like the Phytosurgeon's uh, Spectral Shine. There might be a learning curve to it, but once you get the learning curve down, it is super worth it. I do want to check out other colors. I'm hoping that they have a um, bronzer that is not quite as yellow because I like a, a cooler toned bronzer. But anyway, yeah, that is the first. I don't know why I did that. Since we are done with the face, I'm going to spritz with the MAC Fix, Fix Plus. The one setting spray that I do have is fragranced and a ton of hyaluronic acid. My skin is not best friends with hyaluronic acid. It doesn't hate it, but I don't need an extra product with it, if that makes sense. So we're gonna spritz with this and then we will talk lips. I also want to mention, um, as far as eyes go, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments that the best Beauty Pie eye product is the eyeshadow sticks. Here's my thing. I do want to try them at some point, but every time I add them to my cart, it's just not worth the money for me personally because I have tried Laura Mercier, I have tried Urban Decay, I have tried the Thrive Brilliant Eye Brighteners. The problem is I just don't reach for that type of eyeshadow. I much prefer a potted cream or a powder eyeshadow. It has nothing to do with the product. I'm sure they're absolutely great. And for like a third of the cost of Laura Mercier, absolutely, I love that they have that in their offering. It's one of the first things that got me interested in Beauty Pie because I was really looking to get my hands on some of the Laura Mercier. I ended up getting Laura Mercier because I wasn't ready to commit to Beauty Pie a couple of years ago, but if I had committed to Beauty Pie, then I would have all the colors, rest assured. But I just wanna put that out there. Same thing for the lip products. I know that Beauty Pie is known to be an outstanding lip company, I have tried all of the formulas. I only have three here to swatch and show you, and I will explain that why, explain why in a second. Their lip formulas are outstanding. They're, I don't have a bad thing to say about their lip formulas, but they're just, they're good, not outstanding. Like for me, to be an outstanding lip product, you're going up against N Beauty and Fit Glow. And those products are my everyday, Again, bury me with those, pry them from my cold dead hands. As far as makeup goes, that Thrive Mascara and those two brands and lip products, that's what I can't live without. That would be my first repurchase if my whole collection was gone. That to say, these are absolutely phenomenal and I picked up a new one that I am so excited about that we will swatch all three of these and I will talk about the formulas, but I've tried all the formulas because they have a sample card for $5 where you can try all of the formulas outside of the lip oil, I think. So if you are new to Beauty Pie, you don't know where to start with lips, try there. It comes in the three lip formulas and a lot of different colors, a lot of different colors. And I will say that's another place where Beauty Pie lip products fall short for me. If I'm gonna go for something that performs more like a lipstick like these products over like a lip gloss, I want a statement color. I'm not really wearing nude lipsticks all the time because I'll just wear a nude gloss. The Fit Glow is pigmented enough that I can get away with that. And their colors just don't excite me enough. However, this one does. We'll get into this one. This one's very exciting. But I'll start with a lip oil. I think mine's in my nightstand. I can't be bothered. They're phenomenal lip oils. They're somewhere in between a Fit Glow and an N Beauty. A little bit thicker than the N Beauty, but more towards that side than the gel formula of Fit Glow, they're not sticky, they're amazing. I got the white or clear in hopes that it could be like the Fit Glow Night Serum. It will leave a white-ish cast on your lips, so beware of that, but they're beautiful. They have absolutely stunning colors. I would love to get my hands on Jammy probably next. 
But then the next formula I'll talk about are the Luxe Shine lipsticks that are in a skinny tube like this. I don't have any of the matte, like traditional lipstick tubes on hand, but that is a good formula. Um, it's a lipstick formula. All of their products smell beautifully of vanilla, like old school Mac vanilla. I love it. Um, but these are just a slim bullet lipstick. I have mine in the shade Naked Pink and I will swatch that. It's so pretty. And you get good pigment payoff with just one swipe. Look at that. So nice. And these, these feel very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss to me. Not as thick, but I prefer this to the Happy Kiss, honestly. And if they came out with the right berry shade for me, I'd be all over it. I do want to pick this up in a more nude color, but this is such a nice pink if that is like an everyday color for you. I will say if you are someone who wears more neutral, nudish pink lipsticks, Beauty Pie has you covered. Absolutely. And they're stunning colors. I love this color. This is such a nice dainty color. I don't like it for this look because I want to play more on the neutrality of my eyes than the pink peach on my cheeks. So I'm going to wipe this off and we will swatch the next one. All right, next up on the docket is the Shine Up Lip Color Balm. These are in a crayon, and excuse me if they're dirty, I've used this one quite a bit. This color is Sexy Berry, so a companion to that blush. They look beautiful together. There is also, it is a twist up from the bottom here, which I appreciate. I'm sure you can sharpen these, I have not tried. It seems scary because they are very emollient. You can see how shiny it is, very emollient but I love that it has a tip because it's easy to be precise when applying. And these ones are so interesting because if this feels like Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss, this is drier, not to scare anyone, it's still moisturizing, it is like a drier balm. It is much more balmy than the other one and almost more so towards a regular lipstick. This is almost like one of those lip gloss hybrids in a tube. This is more like a traditional lipstick, but one that is very, very hydrating and you can see this color is stunning. I love this color in the fall. I will be wearing it nonstop this fall, but love that. Again, love the pointed tip, really allows for precision on application. And it doesn't look scary if you go slightly over the line of your lips, like it's just going to make them look pouty. It's not one of those things where it's gonna be like you overdrew. It's just going to look pouty. So I really like both of these formulas for that sake. All right, and then lastly, this is the one that I just picked up and I'm so excited. This is what I'm looking for when I'm talking about like I want a statement lip. It's this coral color and it is the shade Super Juicy. Yes, it's not gonna be for this look but I cannot wait to film a look with just like a ton of chunky mascara and this for summer. Like so pretty. I feel like this is also a Kate the Great color. Like she would look phenomenal on this. I'm so curious, I need to go catch up on her channel and see if she picked this color up because if not, she needs to. But this one is also a little bit more sheer than the Sexy Berry. I do not put lipstick on gracefully. That's not my gig. But look how fun. Like what a summer forward color. Again, imagine it with like a clean face, clean eyes, just chunky mascara and bronzer. Like a beach babe, am I right? So pretty, but again, I think it's a little much for this look. I kind of like to balance <laughs> what I'm doing on my eyes. So I am going to apply something that is not Beauty Pie, unfortunately, off camera, and we will come back, recap this, and then I want to jump in to swatches of that James Malloy palette against the Aether. As you know, I am not a swatch queen, but see, I always do that. I'm gonna run through these. So the top here is the highlight shade from the Aether palette, the lightest shade, and then underneath that is from the James Malloy. You can see that, oh yeah. So it's funny because both of these in the palette kind of look like that, like it, well not this one. This one in the palette looks like the other way, but in the palette, the James Malloy just looks like kind of an icy white, 
but as soon as the light hits it, you get that gold green. With the Aether, it is like a peachy beige, but it has a lot of silver and champagne shimmer that keep it really bright on the inner corner, just like it is here. Then the lightest matte in the James Malloy is on top, or no, Aether is on top, sorry. Aether is on top, and then the James Malloy. As you can see, the um, Aether is much more mustardy, which is why I love that palette, whereas the James Malloy is a much more kind of neutral camel. Still warm, but like more of a neutral than this um, mustardy Aether, Aether color. Then for the dark matte, I have Aether on top and the bottom, and then the James Malloy in the center here. I wanted to show you, neither one of these is really even close. This one's much more red. This one is a very deep chocolate. You kind of have a middle of the road kind of neutral chocolate brown. The dragon's awake, I don't know if you heard him. Then lastly, we have the deepest shimmer shade. I have James Malloy on top this time and Aether on bottom. As you can see, Aether is much lighter. Again, a little bit more of that mustard coming through, whereas Aether is like a true deep chocolate brown. Not as deep as that Aether matte, but deeper than that Aether satin. But you can see the texture is very similar. And especially with these two highlight shades, it's no wonder that I love both of them because they both hit the light. I mean, nothing compares. Like this is, this Aether shade is my all time inner corner, but this is so fun. The thing that keeps me from having this be my number one inner corner is that it's so golden green. Like with the Aether, I can pop this on with any look and it's just going to brighten that inner corner. With the James Malloy, you're really committing to a gold or green yellow type look, if that makes sense. But I wanted to include these. Certainly a lot of people would look at that and say, I can get the same looks. To me, they're different and different enough. I'm like, a child when it comes to swatching just all over the place but anyway i hope that was helpful now i want to jump into if i had to take a step back and say what are the standout products for me from beauty pie in the makeup category i would have to say that these james Malloy palettes are incredible if you can find a colorway that you like i highly endorse the formula there and the price point is phenomenal especially for the packaging the formula all that put together i also highly highly endorse and stand by the under eye correcting genius this thing was a game changer for me i will not be without this it will take me forever to go through a pot because i have used this daily for multiple kind of months at a time and i'm not even halfway through so for ten dollars you just you can't go wrong there so absolutely then this palette i'm so shocked if you think this colorway is going to work for you it airbrushes the skin. And this makes me want to try their all wonder, all in wonder uh, face powder that is blurring because it looks like it's a baked formula like this. So any of the baked powder formulas from Beauty Pie, if they perform similar, I'm jumping on that. And then for special mentions, I want to say their lip products are great. If you're looking for more natural kind of at home on the skin, not going to stand out their lip formulas are incredible. Every one that I've tried has been comfortable. I think there's one for everyone. Do you need a lot of extra moisture? Go with the Lux Shine. If you need just a little bit of moisture and you want something easy to apply, the Balm. And then the lip oil is great just for conditioning the lips. And the matte lipstick is there for matte lovers as well. And then a special mention for the blush, cream blushes. I absolutely love these. The formula is outstanding. The reason they're not in that first category for me is the color options are limited. I, I'd love to see them expand on color options, especially in blush and bronzer. So yeah, I will say the makeup brushes I cannot recommend enough. The quality is outstanding. They wash well. The handle and the ferrule are good quality. It's a metal ferrule with a plastic handle, but it feels so good. They are insanely soft. I have videos where I just bounce this on my face. I just love it so much. And like I said, they work so well, especially these, um, the blush and the all over powder. These work so well for cream and powder. So I think most of the brushes are $13 or less. I have multiples. I have three of the foundation brushes, two of the blush and two of these. 
and I will not be without it. I am hoping to get multiples of the smudger brush that I showed on my eyes. They're just great. Again, I hope this was helpful. I hope that we kept this brief enough. I really wanna break down that hour long video so that I can update you on new products, products that are new to me, and also get my thoughts out in a way that it's not flooding you with an hour long video and we can break it up, maybe dive further into details on some of these things. So yeah, let me know if you've tried Beauty Pie before, if there's anything in the makeup category that you think I'm really missing out on. And yeah, if you haven't, let me know what you wanna try first or what you're most excited about. I am most excited about this right now. That might have to be the next look on my channel. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you weren't too creeped out by the ice cream truck and I will see you in the next one. I think we're gonna dive into skincare for Beauty Pie in the next video of this series. So let me know too down below. We're trying to wrap this up. Let me know down below if there's any skincare product you swear by that you think I need to try and we'll see if I can get that in before we film that one. Yeah, until then, hope that you're having a wonderful day. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when I upload. It is typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern and I will see you guys later. Bye.